What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, last episode was a little rough, so if you guys want to check it out, please let me know before I do a team recap. So, uh, spoilers ahead. Um, anyway, this is episode six of the Gen Lock. I don't. I think it's six. It might be seven. I am honestly losing track because I'm having way too much fun with the series. But that's what you want to do. You want to have fun with the series. As today, we're gonna have some six v six battles. So. Hashtag scary. We got some encounters. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we got. We got one mom that's dead. S S uh, Slazzle died, unfortunately, in the last episode. We got Daddy the Machamp, level 18 with Storm Throw, Brick Breaks, Snatch, and Cotton Guard with Sap Super as an ability. We got Green Bird with Searing Shot, Side Beam, Hex, Sacred Fire, Still Work as an ability. We got Dead Mon. Then we got Zayden the Mega Freaking Swampert with Thunder Punch, Shadow Sneak, Steamroller, Waterfall, Long Reach as ability. Let's go. Okay. Anyway, on that note, we cannot use Salazzle, unfortunately, anymore to catch Pokemon. Which is very sad and unfortunate. But we get an encounter in here, so at least maybe we can get something good to replace um, Salazzle. We have Trumbeak, though. So, actually, if I'm thinking about it, I kind of don't want something from Generation 7. Because we do have Trumbeak that we can put in the box. I don't know when Trumbeak evolves. But I guess we can find that out right now, as I honestly, it's text that I don't necessarily care about. So, it's totally fine. What level does Trimbeak evolve? According to Bulbapedia, Bulbagarden, it evolves from Pikapex starting at level 14 and evolves into Toucanon starting at level 28. So, actually, honestly, not that bad. <laughs> Honestly, I would love to have Trumbeak as our encounter. As our encounter for the Verdant Cavern is going to be a... Crap. Another Gen 2, Mon! Uh, I know this is Gen 4, technically, but it evolves into Gen 2 because... Freaking naturally! We... That's, t that's Gen 2 number... We are going to complete our complete Johto decks before we can even get a team of six at this point. Um, Jesus. I would love to, like, not have to worry, but apparently that is what this game wants us to do. Again, another gener... Like, Generation 6. Please. That's what I want. Generation 5, you are the biggest decks... We have not seen a single Mon except from Encino with Slow Start in that generation when it comes to encounters. Like, okay, yeah, Bonsley's Gen 4. Cool. Like, whoa. But when it evolves, it's going to be Gen 2. And it, that, it doesn't count from when I got it. It counts when the Mon evolves. So these, that's going to be, like, that's something that I'm thinking about with the Gen Log that actually kind of makes this a little harder than I anticipated was that there is Mons. Now, obviously, I did not expect to get all the baby Pokemon from Generation 2. Like, Freaking Kalefa who evolves into Generation 1. Like, I'd have to put Greenbird in the box. And it's like, I'm not going to do that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and name this again the Bonsley. Because, again, really, like like I said, technically, technically speaking, we can add Bonsley to the team, but not when it evolves. So, I mean, if again has something good, we can add Bonsley. It's got Long Reach, Calm Mind, Miracle Eye, Bulk Up, and Water Cut. So it's trash. Great. So it's going in the box. Um, Because, again, I'm not going to use it. Also, Spikes is terrible. Free Shock. User attacks with a Swift. Chop. Oh, whoa. It's, it does that. It does that. I forgot. So I got to look up what Free Shock does. But, yeah, it is the move I'm thinking of. Um, it is a very good physical move, but... Again, we can't really necessarily use it. As this is going to be annoying because you're going to encounter things every five seconds because that's how getting out of a cave goes. Um, so I... If I can, I, I don't know if I... Actually, never mind. I can't do that. I was going to try and take the liberty and just, you know, making it so you guys didn't have to deal with the encounters. Oh! Apparently, that wasn't that encounter. We're going to get two in a row because why not? Um, you know, Pip would have been a great wild encounter. But did you notice that we actually... That was a why not. Why not Generation 3? What am I saying? Okay, never mind. Um, I was going to say, watch. That was a why not. Like, oh my god. Another baby Pokemon from another generation. But again, another thing that evolves into a Generation 2 Mon. So I guess my point is still valid. Stop giving me Gen 2 Mons. 
Like, I will be very happy if I don't have to deal with Generation 2. But no, 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 no. You know, you're doing a cage lock, so you have to do every single thing in the sorts of Generation 2. It's like, bro, please. Like, ugh. Anyway. Like I said, unfortunately, though, because of the way that the caves are, I didn't have a repel, which I really should have bought. This would have been great. That's Generation 6. Well, I couldn't have gotten that. Ugh. Like, I would have loved a Healy Weptile. It would have been great for the team. But no, luckily, though, I can. Like the we like I said, we lost a Mon last episode. We lost our Salazzle. But we did lose a Mon in a generation of which we could switch something. So we didn't actually, like, lose a Mon on the team. Like, as you can see on the layout, we got Trumbeak back. Because um, I'm just going to put – what I've decided to do is I'm going to put Trumbeak just – back on the layout because that's who we're going to grab for our generation seven one anyway um so it's not like we're losing out on that aspect of it that would have been a great gen seven mon um but i don't know how type null evolves that's a kind of a mute point i honestly don't know how it evolves so actually it might not have been as good as i was thinking it is <laughs> I swear, it's every five steps. It's another encounter. That's a good Gen 5 Mon that I could have, would have loved to have. Mandibuzz is great. Um, but, like, I don't even know what's really necessarily good for the team at the moment in time. Like, if I'm going to be, like, 100% blatantly honest, I don't know what's good for the team or what benefits me in what way, shape, or form. So, sorry, I just I just completely scratched my mic, and that probably sounded atrocious for you guys. Um, but, yeah, so. Hey, look at that. Snapping. Um, but, anyway. Uh, I just, ah, I don't know how to feel. Dude, it's, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to stop after this episode. It's hella hot in here, and I'm going to need to get out of my room. Um. So, I definitely need a computer with better thermals. I'm going to be honest. Like, my thermals on my computer is just... It's bad. Because um, I know that's emanating from the computer. Um, holy sh... Nikes, it's like... I'm like in a sauna. Like, if I'm going to be in a sauna, at least put me in a sauna with, like, some hot people. Like, honestly. Um, let's be fair. At least those obsessions have gotten a lot better over the years. But anyway, on that note, um, we get to deal with him explaining how to use Z moves. Oh. Are the Z move animations copyrighted? Because if they are, I'm going to freaking be so upset. Well, we'll find out in this episode if they're going to copyright my Z move, the Z move usage or not. They copyright the Z move. I'm gonna be like, are you kidding me? This is your own game. You're gonna copyright your own freaking animation for your own game. We'll find out. Like I said, I don't I don't recall the episode being copyrighted, but that's also because the episode was a lot lower quality than I am now. Like 2018 versus 2020. That's a big Whoa! That is a really big difference. Holy crap. The last time I played this game for the channel was 2018. So, yeah. So, who knows? Hopefully, it's not copyrighted, but honestly, knowing YouTube, it probably is. Like, everything is. Um, phew. Z-Powers are a heap of help for all trainers. Yeah. Because you definitely didn't completely say that you're not going to use Z-Moves. Like, oh, my God. I can't believe you're not going to use Z-Moves in this game. Like, what the hell? Like, it's a Z-Move. It's, like, the most powerful move, and it's so broken that it allows you to beat the game easily. What? You aren't going to use it, cousin? Yeah. No, I'm not. Because I'm not a lazy buckaroo um i'm a motivated son of a gun that's why i've recorded so many episodes without even needing to but that's another point for another day um i think we got access to super potions now dude our magic guard salazzle is the first mod to go to the death box i don't know how i feel about that Okay, and like I said, technically, this is a Gen 4 mon, but I'm going to classify it and put it in a Gen 2 slot because it's full of evolution. It's Gen 2 anyway. And I know that would be like me putting Cleva in the Gen 1 slot, but that doesn't work that way either. It's Gen 2 right now, um, and I'm not going to make the fully evolved thing happen. So Trumbeak, 
you're level eight, so uh, you're not going to be used in these battles at all today, but you're still coming with me. Um, watch us get like a Sogaleo as our encounter or whatever. And then I'm like, oh, well, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Trumpy. Um, you can now purchase more items. Yeah, we can buy super potions now. Yeah. It's almost like we needed these earlier. We're going to spend $7,000 on that. Oh, we can buy Great Balls too. Nice. Okay. And we'll buy 11 of those. So now we're stacked. We still have a lot. Dude, this game, like I said, this game gives you like way too much money for its own good. Um, but yeah, so we are going to have to train up Papa or not. I think I named it Papa. Yeah, I did in a future episode. This is a new route though. And I definitely don't want to fight you. Wow. I didn't want to fight him. So I walked slow and then he turned over to me. That's exactly how that worked. Okay. Dude, this, these 60s, there's, I've got a 66 fight with, um, what's her name? Ah, uh, Solaria in this episode. Ooh, that's, I'm not, I'm not really with that so much. Like, that's a very scary realization to make right now, is that I've got a 66 with a really tough trainer that likes to do me in every time, and I've only got a team of four, and one isn't even useful right now. Like, I can't even use one of them. Um, because I was not in a position where I could train. So, our encounter for Route 3, uh, hopefully it's good, and hopefully it's from a generation that we can actually utilize. Another heal ball, we'll take it. Like I said, kind of crossing my fingers, it's a generation that I can utilize. So, <laughs> I, uh, I, here's where I kind of wish I didn't say what I classified Megas as. Well, actually, no, because I have a Mega Swampert, so it wouldn't matter. No matter what I classified it, I'd have to take something off the team. Because I would classify Swampert as Gen 6 then, and that would be classified as Gen 6 as well. But that's a Mega Mewtwo. Which is going in the box. As soon as... I just used Storm Throw, like a dip dub. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, never mind. Um, Arm Thrust. Should... Oh, wow. Jesus, that still does a lot. But to avoid the potential of having a high roll end up killing me... I'm going to Brick Break. Double Kick. So he, it's, you've got two physical moves right there. As long as you don't plot the, the magical special move, I'm going to Cotton Guard. Because watch, this is going to be the one turn it pulls out a magical, like, Psy Shock or something. Actually, Psy Shock would be great, actually. Um, but I am going to go ahead and try and catch this. It's a Mega Mewtwo X, like... Why would I not? Um, I'm so glad we bought more um, Great Balls. Wait, Fastball. That would be your quick to run away. I don't know what that's going to help with, but we're going to Great Ball you. Hopefully, you catch, but we don't have any way to status you, unfortunately. Um, well, I guess I kind of do. I have a Sacred Firing Pokemon. But, said Sacred Firing Pokemon... Kind of casually would be a very bad thing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and heal ball. Maybe maybe you'll like the pink ball. Like, you're a Mega Mewtwo. You love Pokemon so much. No, that did nothing. Oh, my gosh. Like, it's a Mega Mewtwo. Like, I'm going to try my hardest to get this thing, especially if it's not pulling out any sort of like, damaging move. Like, why would I not go for a Mega Mewtwo? Especially because I can keep it in the box. Like, and it would be a great replacement for our Machamp. Because we already have a Psychic type. Like, I don't want to make it so that I lose my Psychic or have another Psychic type. 
having a pure fighting type is kind of better in this scenario. Um... There's nothing I can do, right? Like, I've got no form of anything. That would be correct. Okay. I just wanted to make sure before I was doing something stupid. So we are doing the best thing that I can do right now. And that is trying so desperately to get this. Um... Come on, Mega Mewtwo. Be nice. Be nice. Come on. You're a Mega Mewtwo. And I love you. Ugh. This is, this is not going to be easy. This is going to be like the entire rest of the episode. Because we get two more encounters. And so we won't even get to go to Solaria. Um, because this encounter is going to take me the entire episode. Um, come on, Mega Mewtwo. Ah. Like, the power. Like, we're getting mons that are good for their generation. Like, that's what I'm happy about. It's not like we're getting... Like, for Generation 2, we have Zatu. Zatu is a good Gen 2 mon, so I'm happy that we have Zatu on the team. Machamp, great Gen 1 mon. So that's great. Um, Let's see, what else do we got on the team? We got Shrombeak, which evolves into two cannon, which that's going to be a great mon when it evolves, because two cannons... Uh, one of the better one of the better birds um and for generation three we got a mega swampert so like i am not complaining with the mons that we have we have good mons we have sustainability it's just our backups aren't great and we don't have a lot of backups for a lot of gens so getting a new backup for a generation is going to be great if this Mewtwo would cooperate with me, because we don't have Ultra Balls yet, so this is actually a very tough catch. Like I said, this might actually be the whole episode. Um, because, like I said, who's not going to fight for this? Um, if you wouldn't fight for a Mega Mewtwo, then you just aren't a Pokemon player. Um, and, you know, I got to respect that. But still, like, it's a Mega Mewtwo. It's got 160 Bice attack, and it is doing nothing to me because I prepped for this thing. And the only, like, it's not going to run out of moves, which is great to know that it won't run out of moves, like, in the sense of, like, uh, like, I'm going to run out of Pokeballs before it runs out of moves because of Arm Thrust, which is great. It's got all physical moves, which is amazing for me right now as well. Gonna go ahead and try a Premier Ball. Why not? It doesn't hurt. Yikes. Revenge is the other move. So they're all physical moves. But. I mean, I've got money to spend. I've got money to spend. I'm going to uh, go all out. Like, to go even further all out, I'll cotton guard again so that I'm times four. Defense. Because this thing is all physical defense or physical moves anyway. I guess we'll try the fastball. Don't know what that does. I think it only helps with teleport. Well, this actually does technically normally have teleport, so would it help? Who knows? Oh. Ah! The triple jiggle. I thought we had it. I thought we had that. Oh, the, we had the triple jiggle. Mewtwo played us for a fool. Uh, that's okay, though. Come on. Ah! This is the one moment I wish I kind of had false swipe. <laughs> like, make sure it gets down to exactly one. Like. Because I can't damage it any more than I have. So, this is like, this is our best option. Is to hopefully get it like this. Oh, oh, come on. Don't triple jig me again. Ah, we're getting so close. 
We love you, Mega Mewtwo. Ah, come on. We don't have enough. We don't have a lot of Pokeballs left. We got, like, we are literally using them all on this right now. Um, even if it takes the whole episode, I'm gonna try my hardest to catch you. So, I mean, sorry for making this entire episode Mega Mewtwo, but like, if we catch it, it's worth it. If we don't, then, well, that's unfortunate, but if we don't, we don't. Uh, but we want to catch you. We love you, Mega Mewtwo. The entire chat loves you. Even though it's a, not a live stream. It's a video. Oh, that was a crit. Ooh. The entirety of the comment section would freak out if we caught you. You are going to be on, in the thumbnail. Like, you are going to be in the thumbnail. Like, you are an amazing Pokemon. And they're going to be like, oh my god, what the heck is that pink blob? Like, I'm so curious on what it is. And I could be playing them this entire time with it being a Musharna. But it's not a Musharna. It's a Mega Mewtwo. Like, and you're, then it's not going to give it away because I know how to blur now. So, like, like, come on. We love you. Like, lo we love you so very much. And we want to give you some po kind positivity. Some cool vibes. Ugh. Come on. Uh, we... Wow, we have an entire... What an episode. This entire episode is going to be being dedicated to one Pokemon. We catch the Bonsley, and the rest of the episode is dedicated to this. <laughs> like, ah, uh, what am I supposed to say? Um, I, I really don't have much to say. It's not, like, we're, if, if we don't, I, I kind of regret not spending all my money on the Great Falls now. And only buying 20. But, he, again, here's where losing our statuser hurts. Because we could have paralyzed it. But, you know. Ah! Stop. I would rather you just not triple jiggle. Like, honestly, I would rather it not. Like, it triple jiggling means I know I could catch it. Like, there's a possibility to catch it in a great ball. I'm going to just throw a random Pokeball at you. Because if you watch actually catching a Pokeball. I would be like. It would be hilarious, but, like, I don't think it will happen. Yeah, no, not even a shake. Um, at least I'm not hitting it. Like, so its revenges are going to do absolutely nothing. Um, but, yeah, not being in a position that I can really do anything. Because knowing if it actually runs out of moves... And struggles, it's dead. Ah, oh my gosh. Come on, me too. Ah, that fastball. I, I feel like if you were paralyzed, that fastball would have caught. Which, again, why, why, why did Salazzle be the one that had to die? Like, naturally, it was it was Salazzle that died. It couldn't, like. My, I mean, my team was actually really good. So I didn't necessarily want any of my moms to die. But this definitely is big. This has a brutal, momentous swing. In how this goes, if we catch it, but we're we're running low. We have no more great balls after this. Uh, uh, we have two more great balls, and then all we've got are pokeballs. And I don't think pokeballs are gonna catch a Mewtwo. Like I know this is a big risk monetarily in this game. It's massive, but especially knowing I have two more encounters, like. I think that's what makes this such a big risk, right? Is I have two more encounters after this where these extra Pokeballs are going to be very necessary. Um, and 
I'm using them all on a Mega Mewtwo, which is going to be literally in the box. But I feel like... I don't know. I feel like it's just that important to me to have this. There! It almost... It took us the entire episode. We finally did it. We got a Mega Mewtwo and it's on that team now. Thank goodness. Wants to learn submission. Isn't that like a thing that does recoil and... Yeah. <clears throat> Heck no. We ain't learning submission. No, I said I'm not learning it. I just can't believe it took us the entire episode to freaking catch a Mewtwo. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's a Mega Mewtwo X. And we're going to name this Aaron. Because he made the art. He did a lot of things for the series. He deserves to be named after a powerful Mon. I know it'll be in the box. But he does deserve it, nonetheless. So, we are going to go ahead and unfortunately wrap this episode up. I know this episode, I feel bad because this episode didn't contain, like, anything. But, I mean, we kind of make it be too. So... Wait, doesn't that, like... Doesn't that ability make it so, like, like super effective moves only do, like, 75%? No. Prevents other Pokemon's moves or abilities from lowering this Pokemon's stats. Okay. So, it's basically clear body. So, this is a Gen 1 Mon. So, move down. Move down. Dude, the fact that we have so many Gen freaking 2 Mons is making me mad. So one, two, three, four, five. It's a five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's five by six. So technically we could do. Nah, we won't mess around with that. Um, but I will actually, while I'm in the box, I'm gonna put Mega Swampert in the box as well. Um, and Mega Swampert. Because you have to put your Megas in the box for them to say Mega. Uh, but anyway, I love you guys all. Have a great day. I'm gonna train Picky Peck all the way up to level 18 with the gang. Have a great day. Love you all. Peace out, guys.